So, my name is Sophie Kragerstein and I'm from uh, the University of Nottingham in England. Um, we've been running a project here in the Bocas del Toro region for about four years now. And we've started collecting data on the greenhouse gas fluxes from the large wetlands in the area. First we've worked on getting background information because almost nothing is known about the carbon storage and the greenhouse gas fluxes in these ecosystems. And we are now moving towards doing more mechanistic work to understand the processes that controls the gas fluxes from the peatlands to the atmosphere. We've also started looking, up, looking on how much carbon that is stored in these peatlands. And we have been collecting peat cores right the way down through, through the peat down to the marine sediment underneath and we found really really deep peat deposits in the area. It probably has been put down over the last 5,000 years or something like that but we are looking at facing the bottom of these deposits so that we know how long it's taken for them to accumulate. to San San Ponsac, our favourite swamp, where we have worked for many years now. We're going to collect a little bit of the swamp in the tubes and bring them back to the station to make life a little bit easier for us. So peat, this is typical peat from the wetlands here. And basically it's a dead plant material that doesn't uh, degrade because it's really really wet in the ground and you also have a lot of leaf material and root material being produced in the forest and you can see how there's lots and lots of roots making up part of the peat and uh, you've got the big roots and the small roots and then the more decomposed material in between and this is where the carbon is held in these systems and it's important that the carbon stays in the peat in the ground rather than being degraded and uh, released to the atmosphere uh, as either methane or carbon dioxide which are greenhouse gases that affects our global climate. <laughs> 